uh, the year 100, just activating the frame counter, it full screen. So here with the on the frame counter, that is after a few iterations, it's going down to about 0.23, so 0 0.2 frames per second on a GTX 285, and on GF100 we do this at 0.6 frames per second. So it's three times faster on a GF100 over a GTX 285 in ray tracing. And this is pretty much a pure compute test here. I mean, there's there's pixels here, but it's being this is entirely a computing application essentially. So this uh, benefits obviously from, from the higher core count, and in particular, um, ray tracing is a computing workload that benefits a great deal from caching, because um, you don't when the rays bounce, you don't have a good prediction. So shared memory, which is a software managed memory, if you know if you have good predictable access patterns for memory, you're better off using more shared memory. If you don't, you're better off using more cache. So this is one of those examples where having more cache and having a good caching architecture can really benefit uh, computational workloads. You can see, see here in the, num in the sample count on GF100, we are at 40, here we're at 17 mm -hmm. right now. And we, I started this one earlier than, than GF100. So it makes a huge difference in these kinds of applications. And you see it's also much much quicker in navigating around if you do a changing the scene. So it makes a huge difference in ray tracing three times performance. That's difference that's huge. Okay. Okay.